Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the time machine in Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Now it's basically the same as it is in Mount in Lion, uh, but I'm just going to give you a tutorial. Uh, so what you can do is come up here uh, to the time machine icon and then you can press open time machine preferences because it will probably say time machine not configured. So I'm going to click this and then system preferences will launch. Uh, it may be a little slow to open up. System preferences usually takes a while because uh, it's associated with lots of files to do with your system. And so once this opens up like this, uh, we can get started with setting up time machine and it's all really simple which is great. So the first thing I want to quickly show you is options. So if we come into options here, you can basically just exclude certain items from backups. So for example, if you have a folder from movies and you've only got, um, say, 30 gigabytes left on your backup drive, so and all you have is those movies and those are really big files, but the rest is all just Word documents, then you can exclude that movie folder by just pressing this plus here, which is really easy. So that's a great little feature here. Um, so apart from that, you can choose to show or hide Time Machine in the menu bar. Uh, you may not have actually had that little icon there, but otherwise you can just come into System Preferences and click on Time Machine. Okay, so moving on. Whoops, I unticked this. Uh, what we want to do is select our backup disk. I'm going to choose this one. Sorry, I know it's a bit of a random name. And then one of the small new features in Mountain Lion is that you can now encrypt your backups. So I'm not going to go ahead and encrypt mine today because I've got um, other data on it and you can only really access it from computers like this. Uh, it's a little complicated and I just want, don't want to stuff anything up. But if you've just got a backup drive for this iMac, um, then it'd be, or MacBook, whatever, then it'd be a great idea to encrypt your backup for security. Okay, so I'm going to untick this. I've got my disk selected and then I'll go use disk. So basically now we've chosen this disk. I can see that I've only got 105 gigabytes available. It's automatically going to start a next backup in 110 seconds. And so now it's automatically gone to on. And so this is basically all we need to do to set up Time Machine. It's super simple. Um, there's also a few things you can do if you come up to here. I recommend that you do tick show Time Machine and menu bar because uh, then you can see uh, waiting to back up you can press back up now and then you'll see that this is spinning so you can get updates on everything and then even in here we can see all of the data about exactly what's going on and so then what time machine is going to do is basically what it says here it's going to keep hourly backups for the past 24 hours daily backups for the past month and weekly backups for the all previous months now basically so what it's doing is it's not rebacking up your computer every time you change something it's just rebacking up what you change so for example if you have all your movies and stuff and you create one word document it's not going to back up your whole computer all over again it will just back up that word document uh, so it's very smart and it doesn't take a long time um, basically once you've got it set up as long as you have it plugged in uh, it only takes maybe two minutes three minutes at the max unless you've been downloading lots of big files um, and then it will just back up in a while um, and so then what you can do once this is done is you can browse through your time machine by clicking here and then going enter time machine and then you can go back and retrieve files which you may have changed for example um, if a family member got onto your computer and accidentally uh, deleted a file because they didn't really know what they were doing or something then you could retrieve that by going into time machine maybe going back two days and pressing restore on the file and then it will go back exactly like it was before in your hard drive so again i'm here from blue Needle studios thank you very much for watching any feedback is hugely appreciated make sure you check out my zazzle store there's a link in the description below where i'm selling t-shirts and posters and all sorts of really cool things also iphone cases which are really great at the moment um so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye